going to be smoking uh, Matt Withens from Fisherman's Life salmon. So I'll go through the process. Thank you, Matt. And, um, you know, hopefully you'll let me have some when it's done. But uh, good catch, and thanks for going. Had an awesome trip. Here we go. So what I'm going to do right now is try to feel for the bones and uh, cut those out if I can. So I'm basically going to cut strips like that. Maybe a little bit thicker. As you can tell, the, the meat's a little bit on the brownish side instead of the pink orange. Uh, that's because the fish had been in the fresh water for a while, so it was just starting to turn, but it's still great for smoke fish. All right, guys, so right now we're going to uh, get the brine ready, which is just brown sugar and salt. These are uh, four and three quarter cups. We'll need uh, two to one, so two cups brown sugar to one cup salt. If you'd like more salt, go ahead and add that. But um, so we'll probably need two or three bags of this to cover this much meat because that's uh, quite, a, quite a bit of meat right there. And uh, so we'll go ahead and add that in there and I'll show you the, the uh, mixture once it's there. From there, we're actually going to put it in some glass containers with brown sugar and salt on the bottom, coat it on the top, then put paper towels on it to absorb all the moisture because the moisture will come out of the meat from the salt. And that helps with the curing process. And then when you smoke it, it even draws more liquid out. Since this was a 25 pound salmon, we got quite a bit of meat. So I'm gonna make extra just in case. I don't want to run out towards the end while I'm actually doing this. So I'm going to use two of these, which is nine and a half cups of brown sugar, which is going to be way overkill. But uh, we'll, we'll see. You want to break up all those little chunks, especially if it's been sitting for a while. This is nice, fresh, easy to do. And then next we'll measure out four cups, roughly, of the salt. One two, three, four. Now you just knead it like you would bread. You just knead that uh, salt in there. I'm gonna mix this up really good, otherwise it's gonna be salty. Some meat will be salty, some meat won't. And again, there's so many different recipes you can do. You know, whether you like teriyaki, you like other stuff. Uh, this one is the most simple. It tastes really good to me. And then later on, I'll show you the uh, how to make salmon dip out of this, out of the smoked salmon, using cream cheese, sour cream, and garlic powder. So it uh, definitely will come out really tasty. It's like my favorite thing, favorite dip. If you like fish, even if you don't like fish, you might like this. So, all right, so if you can see in that, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's kind of a white, crusty, salty, so it's consistent thing we're looking for. So basically, just take brown sugar and salt mixture, spread it out on the bottom of the pan, get a nice even, probably quarter inch, maybe a little thicker, it's fine. Just All right. What we're going to do is we're going to lay our fish in there and try to dry that off as much as possible when you're putting it in. So maybe if you just rinse it like I did, make sure it's nice and clean, take a paper towel and uh, just kind of dab it on both sides to pull the water moisture out of it. Leave a little bit of space in between too so that you can get make sure you get the brown sugar down in around the sides of the meat as well. I'm gonna put more brown sugar on top to coat it, about the same amount, just make sure it's all coated. Be generous with it, because that's salt and brown sugar is what's gonna give you some nice sweet flavor after it pulls the moisture out of there. I'm gonna get about four sheets of uh, paper towels, fold it over, fold it over, and just lay it in like this. So then what will happen is all the moisture from this will pull out and then pull into the paper towels. So I'll show you what that looks like after it sits in the fridge overnight for about 12 hours. Good morning guys. I'm um, going to start the smoker this morning and basically what I'm going to do is uh, take the hickory chips right here, the bowl of water and then kind of mix them up. Okay guys, we got the uh, wood chips in the water. So basically uh, 
getting those moist so that it smokes a little bit more and puts a little moisture into the, the air. The smoker I'm using is a, a little chief and you can just put your meat on there. You have your smoke chips that go in here. Replace those. I do it about every hour to two hours and I smoke it for for eight hours until it's nice and golden brown. All right, now we're gonna check on the meat. Uh, I pulled it out of the fridge, and remember I put paper towels on it to soak up some of the moisture and stuff. So what we're gonna do is, if you see this, you can see all the juice that's come out of the, the meat itself. A lot different than it looked last night. And uh, so I like to just kind of rinse it to get uh, some of the salt off of it so that it's uh, not so salty. I'm, I'm not a big fan of that. If you like it, more power to you. Um, put more salt in the brown sugar mixture and then after we rinse it we'll put it on there throw it in the smoker okay here's the different stages um, this is after it's been sitting all night in the fridge with the paper towel soaking up the water here's taking the paper towel off and then here's after I've rinsed it so you can tell it's kind of pretty rigid it's getting uh, pretty firm so you want your meat to be firm guys and uh, that's about it. So we're going to put this in the smoker, start smoking again for like eight hours, and uh, it's going to come out really good. All right, so here we go. We've got the whole tray filled up, and we'll go ahead and put it in this, drop it in the smoker. So we got our wood chips in there and plugged in. It's ready to go. So we'll start smoking here. Been in about an hour. Come back and uh, put some more in, maybe an hour and a half, uh, depending on how smoky you like it. I kind of like it on a little bit on the smoky side. So um, if you like it smokier, obviously put more uh, wood chips in and uh, come back and check it every once in a while. Um, it's pretty cold out today. It's like 60 degrees. So it'll probably take a little bit longer to smoke because it won't get uh, really, really hot in there uh, versus on a warmer day, like a summer day. You know, probably only need to go four to six hours instead of eight. So I'm gonna make sure that meat's cooked. Smoking away, looking good. So there it is, all smoked up. And we'll let it cool off and then we'll take it into the house and uh, vacuum pack it. And uh, so it turned out pretty good. We'll take this back in the house and we'll vacuum pack it and um, get it ready to put in the freezer. If you put it in the freezer uh, after it's vacuum packed, it'll last a year or two years. Um, I've taken salmon out and made dips and stuff out of it and had no issues. So. So it's good to go because it's, it's fully cooked. So now I'm going to take off the uh, fish, put it on a tray, then put it into individual bags. Um, the size of bags that I use are 6x10 vacuum seal so that I can make salmon dip on it. That's typically what I do with my smoked salmon. I don't just eat it or, or use it for other stuff. It's exclusively for dip. So I'll show you how to vacuum seal it here in a second. Okay, it's all vacuum packed, ready to go in the freezer. It lasts, like I said, a couple years. And um, I just take one of these packages out and uh, make a salmon dip. Got our salmon, it's three pieces. I've kind of individually wrapped them. Um, 16 ounces of sour cream. One thing of Philadelphia cream cheese. Uh, we want to get this uh, to where it's soft. So sometimes I'll just uh, nuke it in the microwave. 16 ounces of sour cream. So the fish, what I like to do is just break them up in little pieces. First, and then the blender will take care of the rest, or the cake batter mixer. Put 
powdered garlic. This is just a taste, so it's really up to you guys whether you uh, you want that done. But uh, I pretty much just I like a lot of garlic. It brings out the flavor of everything. So again, this is just powder, so it looks like there's more than there is, but there's actually not that much in there. Go ahead and blend it in. And wrap over the top. Make sure that's sealed around the top. And put it in the fridge to overnight. It'll be ready in the morning. It'll firm all that back up and bring all the flavors together. You definitely want to let it sit overnight for uh, the flavors to, to meld and mix in. And <laughs>